Hi, I'm Tom McDonald from TMSI Telephony Managed Solutions. This is number six, a video out of the 10 top things you need to know about your phone bill when you're dealing with Telus or Bell. On my last video, I was explaining to you that one of the things that the phone companies will do to retain your business as a small business person is to put you on a contract, a term contract for your lines. That's for your fax line or for your main business lines. Now, Almost everybody gets offered a contract, and the contract can be as little as 12 months or as long as five years. Sometimes there's benefits to getting a longer term contract, like a price break. However, no one thing about this business. The prices aren't going up, so it doesn't matter. If you sign a five year contract, the chances of the prices going up in that five years are zero. So there's no point in signing a five year contract because the prices will continually going to go down. So it doesn't really make a lot of sense, in my opinion, to sign a five-year contract. The other thing is, the longer you sign for the mid minimum original term, the auto renewal term is for that minimum amount as well. So if you find a, sign a 12-month contract with TELUS, the auto renewal term is 12 months. If you sign a three-year contract with TELUS, the auto renewal term is, you got it, three years. So it's going to be quite expensive. If you do a five-year contract with TELUS, and it expires and renews on the fifth year anniversary, it's for another five years. Now to get out of these contracts is not the easiest thing to do, but I'm gonna show you how. Here is a TELUS contract. Now of course, for obvious reasons, for protection of privacy and stuff, I've blocked out any names of people. But this contract is fairly new. And if you look at the yellow uh, section here, you'll notice that this minimum term is for 12 months. Most customers don't read these contracts very well. This is an 11 page contract and on this contract you will find that um, it ex explains the pricing and explains the contract. You're going to have to pay that price for that amount of time. Here's where the renewal issue will bite you in the butt. I've highlighted it for you because this is a major contract. You're signing for a couple of lines but it's 11 pages long and if you look here you'll see a renewal clause right here. And on that renewal clause, you're going to see that it tells, talks about a 60-day cancellation. That's how you get out of these contracts, is you abide by the terms and conditions of the contract you signed. And one of the terms and conditions is that you must give them at least 60 days notice. There's nothing stopping you from giving them more than 60 days notice. You can give them, 60, you can give them notice uh, 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 immediately and say, I'm giving you notice that I don't want to renew. Now, if your renewal is five years, you might be stuck for five years. If your renewal is for 12 months, at least you will not automatically get caught for getting to renew. Because how they notify you on this, and it says right on here, that they're going to notify you that your contract is up for renewal by just putting a small um, uh, comment on a comment line on your tele telephone bill, which you may not even see. You may just be giving it to your staff to pay. And on there they say your renewal is up right now and if you wish to cancel or change it, you must contact us now and prior to 60 days to renewal and they'll give you the date on there. Most people don't do that, so the auto renewal happens. My suggestion to all of you is take, if you have a contract that, like this, you must have a copy of it. Take it and then send a cancellation notice to say that you wish to stay on a month-to-month -month contract and send it to this area down here. This contract, you'll find that there's a fax number and an address. Tell us is good enough to actually let you know where to contact them properly to make it proper notice, and it's right down there. So you can fax them or you can send them a letter and tell them that you wish to give them notice that you do not want to be on an auto renewal term, and at least that will stop that part of it. And then you'll have a good chance of saving thousands of dollars. Not everybody's on a on a uh, renewal contract, but most people are. All the new businesses that tell us is signing up most likely is going to be on a renewal contract. So my advice to you, adhere the terms and conditions of the contract, and that means know your rights. And your rights are that you can cancel immediately or serve notice that you do not wish an auto renewal to occur immediately. And they must abide by those terms. Now please go to my website, www.tmsi.ca, log on, and if you do and you give us me your email address, I'll give you all kinds of great information like this and way more to save your company literally thousands of dollars. We've got one company, they can buy a brand new car every five years because we're saving them about $30,000 a year. Did we cut their services? No, we've given them more services and we're saving them $30,000.
every five years. So it's pretty amazing. Go on our website, give us your email address, we'll keep you in the loop. We'll give you all these videos for free. Until next time, we'll see you. This is Tom McDonald from TMSI.